HIV in men. Check your HIV status once you start experiencing the following symptoms. Hello, friends of Mark Medicals. Did you know there are serious signs and symptoms that show with high probability that you may be infected with HIV? After exposure, which exact sign of HIV appears first? How can you know that you are HIV positive without testing? How do you know your HIV has progressed to the AIDS stage? To explain all the above questions very well, this video will cover the following subsections. 1. How can I know that I am HIV positive without testing? 2. How many days will it take for HIV to show up? 3. What is usually the first sign of HIV? 4. What are the seven warning signs of HIV AIDS? 5. What are the signs of HIV after one week? Ready? Let's dive in and enjoy the video. 1. How can I know that I am HIV positive without testing? Guys, remember AIDS and HIV are two different things, right? HIV is the virus, while AIDS is the collection of all infections you will experience once HIV has weakened your body's defense system. From my previous videos, I hope you still remember that many people out there have HIV but not AIDS. People with HIV may not have any symptoms or complaints. On the other hand, AIDS is full brown HIV, and usually the person with AIDS has many symptoms. Because you may not have symptoms before the AIDS stage, this means it's almost impossible to tell if you have HIV or not, minus having an HIV blood test. On the other hand, predicting that you could be living with HIV in the AIDS stage is very possible because we have AIDS-defining symptoms, as I will explain later in this video. In short, the only way to tell whether you have HIV or not is by having a blood test. Symptoms do not tell with the highest accuracy whether you are living with HIV or not. Two. How many days will it take for HIV to show up? People are different and so behave differently once they are infected with HIV. According to CDC, early HIV symptoms in both men and women usually show up in the first two, four weeks after exposure. Other studies have proved that more than 95% of the newly infected clients usually show up signs and symptoms within the first three months. Early signs of HIV infection include a sore throat, a fever, muscle pains, general weakness, body rash, enlarged lymph nodes, and many others. What I need to tell you is that the above symptoms are not proof that you are living with HIV. The above mentioned signs and symptoms also show up in people with flu. Those possible signs are only relevant if you know you had a recent exposure, otherwise do not get scared for nothing. 3. What is usually the first sign of HIV? Yes. I have highlighted possible early signs and symptoms of HIV infection, right? But which of the mentioned signs appears first? Well, the answer is a fever. According to published research, the first sign of early HIV infection is a fever, and almost all people who show the above symptoms will experience it. This fever mimics the one you will experience when you have a flu infection or a cold. 4. What are the seven warning signs of HIV AIDS? As I said earlier in this video, HIV has no specific symptoms. On the other hand, AIDS has specific symptoms, and you should immediately go for HIV testing if you experience the following seven signs and symptoms of HIV AIDS. 1. Swollen lymph nodes. According to studies, more than 10 to 35% of people do not usually experience signs of early HIV infection. But on the other hand, close to 100% usually develop non-painful enlarged lymph nodes. Though it's not HIV alone that causes enlarged lymph nodes, having them on more than one side of the body may be a serious indicator that you are living with HIV. 2. Persistent diarrhea. Diarrhea that lasts for days to weeks could be a sign of early HIV infection. On the contrary, diarrhea that lasts for months is usually a sign of having developed AIDS, especially if it's associated with wasting syndrome. 3. Weight loss. Severe weight loss is a must in the AIDS stage. We usually call it wasting syndrome because you will severely become emaciated or cachectic. If you realize you have lost many pounds without trying, it's high time you test it for HIV. 4. Oral yeast infections. Do you have recurrent sore throat and oral lesions? Almost more than 50% of people with AIDS experience oral wounds and other lesions that are caused by fungi. If you notice mouth wounds and or other oral lesions, go see your doctor for an HIV blood test. 5. Herpes zoster. I remember telling you guys that young and energetic people do not suffer from herpes zoster, right? And yes, it's true. 
If you are not a child or an elderly, and all of a sudden you suffer from herpes zoster, there could be higher chances of having an HIV infection. In my experience as an HIV physician, I have only seen one adolescent who had herpes zoster because of congenital low immunity. So guys, suffering from a herpes zoster usually indicates that you have low immunity, and the cause could probably be an HIV infection. 6. Chest Infections Have you been diagnosed with TB? There could be higher chances you have HIV unless you are a child, elderly, or you are a guy with other chronic diseases like diabetes, malnutrition, and or cancer. People living with HIV and who are not taking any HIV treatment have the highest risk of suffering from chest infections like pneumonia and TB. In fact, one of the most life-threatening infections in people living with HIV is definitely a TB co-infection. So if you recently have been diagnosed with TB, go for an HIV test immediately. 7. Opportunistic Infections HIV infection weakens your body's immunity, making you liable to many infections. Other examples of common infections associated with AIDS include meningitis, histoplasmosis, Kaposi's sarcoma, and many others. For many of you who do not know what Kaposi's sarcoma is, this is a cancer that is related to HIV. Close to 100% of the patients I have seen with this cancer have HIV infection. Other AIDS-defining signs include unexplained persistent fevers, unexplained weight loss, low CD4 cells, Kaposi's sarcoma, and many others. Back to our subsections now. 5. What are the signs of HIV after one week? I already said that early symptoms of HIV usually show up in the first two, four weeks, right? Yes. This occurs in the majority of people. Yes, whether you are a man or woman, there is a rare possibility of experiencing early symptoms of HIV in the first week of exposure. As I said, a fever is usually the first sign of HIV infection that shows up in the first 90 days after exposure. As a bonus, we have majorly three types of HIV testing methods. These include HIV RNA tests, fourth generation HIV tests, and antibody only HIV testing kits. Now the question is, which of those is the best? Of the three testing methods mentioned above, the best testing kit depends on the period of testing after exposure. Each of those has a different testing window period. If your last exposure is between 10, 33 days, the best HIV testing method is by use of HIV RNA tests like a PCR. If your last exposure is between two weeks and 45 days, the best test for you could be both HIV RNA tests and any fourth generation tests. Beyond 90 days, all the mentioned HIV testing kits will give you accurate results. So in short, the maximum HIV testing window period is 90 days for antibody-only tests, 45 days for a fourth generation, and 33 days for HIV RNA testing kits. Hope you guys enjoyed this educational video that explains HIV symptoms in men.